Hi critters, welcome back to another video um, for the Crafty Critter. And um, today's is, um, I have some unboxings, some openings up for unboxings to do. Uh, they were kind of already out of the box. Um, I have actually quite a few of these to do. Um, they're all diamond painting related. Um, and um, the reason I have all this, uh, these items um, is they were all kind of gifted to me um, just this weekend. Um, my birthday was back in June, but because of everything going on in the world, you know, people are, you know, just getting around to kind of like, oh, here, here's your birthday gift kind of thing. So um, the first thing I have here, this is, um, and this can be found on Amazon. This is six pieces of the anti-slip um, grips for trays. And uh, let me get this out of here. Oops. There we go. So there's six of these. Pretty well packaged here. All right, so we got a black, a blue. Um, it's kind of pink. It's not showing up on camera very well. Um, clear, yellow, and a green, like a greenish blue. Because this is the blue. This is kind of more greenish blue. So um, anyway, so these are really great. They're. Um, they're very sticky and tacky, and they're repositionable, so um, we'll just take... Um, you're going to want to keep these um, pieces that come with it for storage purposes. Um, if they get really nasty, you can um, wash them off and let them dry, but the idea is you just stick it onto your surface, or maybe you need to stick it onto... Like, sorry, my light pad is not completely fit in front. So, um, like, you could stick it onto, you know, your light pad and the picture that you're working on, and then your tray. And as you can see, this doesn't move once it's on there. Um, it's very tacky to lift up everything, so it definitely stays. So you put it, attach it to whatever you're working on, and then you would put, um, both sides are tacky, and then you would put your tray down on top of it, and nothing will move, which is great because um, I'm so tired of my trays moving all over the place. So um, that is the idea of this. So let me set this off to the side here, or I could just throw it there for right now. and. Let me move that. Move these back out of the way. There we go. So I'm excited to get these. Um, I wish he had, he had one in there in purple, but I will probably just be using the clear one. Um, unless they get really kind of messed up, then I'll switch. So, anyway. I'm moving upward in the world, and so I'm putting this in there. The next thing I got was this pen kit, and I'll put the link down below. Um, so it's a little tool kit. Um, let's open this up and show you this one. Let me just pull everything out and then it'll go through here. Oops, it's going off here. All right, so we have um, some regular pink pens in there. Oh, there's another one in here, too. So we get three pink pens with, um, those are three placers. On the end, so you get the three placer and your single placer on the other end, um, and then we get um, a pack of. Um, oh, hold on, what's this other stuff in here? Hold on, I gotta figure this out. So we get a regular pink wax. That's what you're seeing there, but I'm just wondering what this white stuff is. Hmm. 
Hmm. It looks like it's some kind of double-sided adhesive of some kind. Yeah, it's a double, some kind of double-sided adhesive. Um, not quite sure what that point of that is just yet, but we'll figure that out. Um, you get this other roll of double-sided adhesive, um, which I've not, so that's kind of confusing. But anyway, um, you get a little pen pouch for um, this pen here. And this pen actually lights up. I already kind of took it out of the package so I could put the batteries in it. But, um, oh, no, don't tell me it got left. Oh, there it goes. So it lights up. And it comes with the uh, these tips. This is a multi-placer pen. There's no single placer available with this one. So with this, you get a, um, a three-placer. And these screw on. And then it, you can just see it, that it lights up. The tip and everything lights up, which is kind of very cool. Um, so you get a three-placer. And I'm not sure how... Hold on. Let's see here. I believe this is a six-placer. So we get a six-placer. And this one is a... This one's a nine placer. Looks like a nine placer, nine or ten placer. And then we get this wheel, which is I'm assuming what all this double sided tape is for. I have not used one of these before. Um, I'm definitely very kind of curious about it. Um, so it is a multi placer. Um, I guess the idea is to take and attach the double-sided adhesive to it, roll it in your diamond tray to keep up the diamonds, and then roll it onto your canvas. I'm really not sure how this is going to work. I mean, I do like this pen. Um, for a multi-placer, it seems kind of cool. Um, and I don't have my... Let's go ahead and just try one of these real quick here. Let's see how well it loads the wax up. It's a very translucent wax here, but um, let's get to where all. I've actually not been using this pink wax. It didn't really pick it up. Hmm. How unusual. It's not really... Hmm. Well, that's going to be a bust if it doesn't even pick up the wax. I'm like destroying this piece of wax just trying to get it into the pen. Yeah, it's like not picking. Hmm. How sad is that? Let's take a look at the smaller one. Wow. All right, maybe it's this wax. Hold on a second. this lately so you know what we're gonna give this a whirl
Do you see how the groove is in this? It's like not even, like I can slip my nail in it and it's just like not picking up the wax. Do you see that? Well, sad to say, this is a total bust. Um, worst case scenario is, folks, I got a fancy little light um, to help illuminate things if my light pad is not cutting it on some of the really darker ones. But, um, yeah, I'll experiment it with a little bit more, but as far as I'm concerned, it's not a working. With that in mind, um, I will end the video here and um, I will post that. I'm definitely going to, um, yeah, write a review, I guess, on this because um, it's not working right. So, um, anyway, thank you for joining me. Um, I will put the links, like I say, to the videos down below. Highly recommend not purchasing this kit, but at least now you know it's out there and what it is. And, um, yeah. So, there we go for today. Um, thanks again for joining me, and I will see you in the next video.